Are you getting ghosted by your leads? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks on how to stop getting ghosted by your leads. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you are getting a lot out of these videos. So if you could do me a favor real quick and just hit that little subscribe button right there, I'd certainly appreciate it. And you get notified every time that I put a new video up on YouTube. So let's get right into it. My tips and tricks on how to stop being ghosted. Now, whoever came up with that term ghosting, I think is a genius because it really does describe what happens when that lead just goes away. They disappear. There's nothing left. I think it all started from the whole dating world in terms of when you were seeing somebody and then everything was going great, maybe emails, texts back and forth, and then all of a sudden nothing. I think it's appropriate because dating and sales are very similar. You can't just ask for marriage straight away. You have to date somebody and get to know them, like them, trust them, and then go to the next step, the next step, the next step, and there you go. Well, at some point though, some people just stop communicating. That's ghosting. How about that? I'm going over a few tips and tricks on how to stop getting ghosted by your leads. I have to admit I was that lead or sometimes I still am because the salesperson does not follow these tried and true tips and tricks in order to not get ghosted. So let's just get right into it right now. Tip number one, you always have to provide value. And I don't know how many times I have to say this, but I will keep repeating it until I see a shift in the way digital marketers and marketers in general do things because it is so important to gain that trust and that like factor when you are giving first. I was given a book, I don't know, about 10 years ago or so. It was called The Go-Giver and it really laid out the idea of giving first without expectation. And I think a lot of marketers have forgotten that. And I see this a lot on LinkedIn. I see this on email communications and, and sometimes I get direct messages where it's just like, hey, I do this. Do you need my service? I'm like, well, I don't even know you. Like, give me some context around what that's all about. And that's one reason that I put a lot of video content out is so that people get to understand what it is that I do, what type of advice I like to give, what kind of person I am, and whether you'd like to do business with me or not. It's all in giving value so that when you do ask for something, then people are like, yeah, I'd be open to having a conversation or getting on a call with you. But if you're not giving value, then what, why would I want to get on the call with you? Why are you always asking me for something? Of course I'm gonna ghost you if all the communication is just, hey, do you wanna buy this? Do you wanna buy this? Hey, how about this? Hey, get on a call with me, help me out with this thing. Well, that's not always gonna work. What is creating value for that person on the other end of the email or the text message or what have you? Well, think about the problem that you are trying to solve. Well, if you like give them little baby steps on little wins along the way with a free PDF, with a small course that you've done, some video content, what have you, and somebody gets some some immediate wins from that or some small wins along the way, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this was incredible from that free stuff that I was given and yeah, I'd love to have a longer conversation with you and see if it might be a good fit to work with you long term or for your bigger program or whatever it happens to be. Because now you've given some value to them. They've actually seen what it's like to consume that information and actually get something out of it. You've provided value without any expectation of anything in return. And that's all about the law of reciprocity which is if somebody does something for you, you kind of feel obligated to do something for them. But the whole idea is that you aren't providing this value with the expectation of getting something in return for it. Give the value because that's what you love to do. Let me ask you a qu really quick question. Just yes or no, have you been ghosted by a prospect? Just put a comment down below. Really interested to see, kind of do this little poll to see how many people have been ghosted. Uh, it's always interesting. Maybe put some content text around what happened in that ghosting situation. Tip number two on how to stop getting ghosted by your leads. 
Well, how about asking a leading question or asking just a question in general that's going to leave an open loop in their brain that has to be answered. When you are asking more and more questions rather than just telling people stuff, you're going to keep that conversation rolling. So some questions that I like to ask is like, well, how long has this been a problem? Uh, what problems are you facing in your business right now? What's your biggest struggle right now? What's your biggest win? All these are really great questions to keep the conversation rolling. What's the biggest thing that you've been working on lately? That's always a good one. Get them involved and like, oh well, yeah, I've been doing this and this and this. And now you have this conversation going and that lead is now gonna be less likely to ghost you because now they're like, oh, well, there's a conversation going. I wanna continue that going on and on and on. And then at the appropriate point, they was like, hey, maybe it's appropriate for us to just jump on a call real quick. And I'd love to kind of uh, learn a little bit more about your business and see if I can help you out. With it. Most people would be like, yeah, you've already kind of helped me out. You provided me value. You kept the conversation going with questions. Yeah, I'd love to have that conversation. So make sure that you're asking really relevant questions to that person. And you'll know when this is working when you don't even have to ask for that next step. When they will actually say, hey, you know, what might it be like to work with you? Now they're asking you to take that next step. And that's when you know that all of these efforts are actually paying off is when you don't even have to ask for the sale anymore. When people are, are proactively saying, hey, what would it be like if we did this, this, and this together? Because they already know kind of what you do. They're asking you basically to have a sales conversation with them. So speaking of giving without any expectation of anything in return, I actually have a great little PDF that I would love for you to have. All you have to do is just click the link below. It's all about saving time in your business, systemizing this whole follow-up, follow-through process so that you actually get prospects on the phone and scheduling appointments with you without spending tons and tons of time doing it. Just go through. It's really easy. Just download it. It's down below. Just click that link. I'll send it right to you through email. And my third tip to stop getting ghosted by your leads is to ask them for a favor. And this is called the Ben Franklin technique. Not to be confused with the Ben Franklin clothes, which is completely different to use when selling. But this Ben Franklin technique is asking somebody for a favor. Psychologically, when you ask somebody for a favor, they're more apt to actually do you other favors. So how might that look like? Well, one way is to send them an article and say, hey, I wrote this article about XYZ. Do you mind uh, making a few comments on it because I know you're interested in XYZ? And they will probably do you the favor and make some comments on it. Or the second thing that you could do is say something like, hey, I'm working on a project, a research project on this type of business that you're in and I'd love to get your feedback on some certain problems that people are facing in your industry. Do you mind spending five, ten minutes with me to go through a few things that uh, I've heard in the in the, in the industry and get your confirmation on them. Well, now you get them on the phone, you have that conversation, they're getting to know, like, and trust you even more because they've done you a favor, then now they're like, oh, well, I've done this guy a favor. He seems like a pretty cool person. And so if you actually come up with a solution for a problem that they're facing, boom, you've got a sale because somebody else already knows, likes, and trusts you. So there you go, the three tips to keep you from getting ghosted by your leads. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please put a comment below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and like the video, share it with some friends and colleagues that could use this information. And of course, I'm gonna put some more videos up over here so that you can see what else I have for you. And until next time, you have a great day.